So who is Elon Musk? Has anyone ever heard the name? People know exactly who he is? Because I just saw a video. It was really surprising. This guy, he was walking around. He was asking people if they know who Elon Musk was. And most of them would say no. And then he would say, they would say, well, do you know who Kim Kardashian is? And they would say, yeah, of course, she's famous. But isn't that ridiculous how someone, how people don't know who Elon Musk is? A founder of SpaceX, uh, Tesla, arguably, and uh, he had a direct inf influence in PayPal and Solar City. Great man. Um, I'm just going to talk about him a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to get too into detail. Elon Musk, he grew up in South Africa, and uh, he's white, he's not black. A lot of people who never heard of him think he's black when you hear the word Africa. No, he was born and raised in South Africa. Um, he was never too close with his father. Uh, majority of the time he lived with his mother. He had a couple siblings, cousins. He moved, he always knew he wanted to go to America, because he knew that was like if you wanted to be, you know, have a big influence in the world, you would have to come to America. So he, side he sidestepped by getting the citizenship to Canada first, because his mother had roots in Canada. So I think he was 17 or 18 when he moved to Canada, went to school there, got his bachelor's, met his eventual wife, his future wife at school in Canada. Uh, Queen's College, I think was what college he graduated from with a dual degree in, econo in economics and physics. Uh, soon then, he, after he graduated, he, forget which college, don't quote me, I think it was Stanford, Hartford, something, something high tech, something, something, you know, well known. He was accepted into the PhD program, which he dropped out of to pursue his entrepreneurial expectation, uh, entrepreneurial uh, goals. As entrepreneurial aspirations. So, Elon Musk, he got his brother, and they both his big brother, and then they both moved to America, uh, California, and that's where um, Elon Musk got. That's where they uh, started their first business, which was Zip2. Which, at the time, this is before internet was huge. Elon Musk is in his mid-40s right now, so this was a while back. Don't quote me on the year. He started Zip2, which was basically like an online Yellow Pages. Between him and his brother, uh, he got a couple other, other people. Uh, he found a mentor, which I don't remember his name, but he was one of his, the investors. And, um, even his father, they invested. His father invested probably about 30 grand in American dollars, I believe, into the company. But for the most part, Elon and his brother, they were, they were sharing a one-bedroom or two-bedroom apartment. Anyone who was working with them with the project slept on the floor in their apartment with them. They didn't have that much money. Elon Musk, he was well off as a kid. He was never poor, but he, he hustled. He hustled his butt off, especially when he moved to America. Um, his uh, girlfriend from college was still living in Canada. Uh, she eventually came, but I think it was after Zip2. And uh, Zip2 was eventually sold. And Elon and his brother each got about 20-ish million from their shares of the company. And that's that's a big chunk of change. That's not nothing. If I had 22 million, I'd consider myself pretty wealthy. So after, after the sale of Zip2, it was... He was already thinking on the next project, but even before the transaction went through, he was thinking of X.com, and I don't think his brother was part of this venture. He might have been. I don't think he did, because his brother uh, eventually became a, a restaurant entrepreneur. He owns a couple of restaurants now. Uh, I don't know too much about his brother, but Elon Musk moved on to Zip uh, X.com. I think he got a couple people from his previous venture. But um, X.com was designed to be an online bank. Pretty much cut the middleman out. No 
very low transaction fees, transfer money to people for free, kind of like what Venmo is today, but this was way before that, and Elon Musk didn't own the company long enough to make it what he, exactly what he wanted it to be, but that was his goal, to be an online bank, which never existed before. So he made X.com, and uh, he, invest, he invested about a little bit more than half of his $25 million. I think he invested about $15 million into X.com. And the rest of it, he bought, you know, a house, his, his girlfriend from Canada, his future wife, came to America with him. They, I think they were actually married at this point. Pretty sure they were at this point. They uh, he got married. And then he bought, the ha he bought a house, pretty much relatively frugal things. But the one thing that he splurged on was he bought a million dollar car, supercar, the McLaren. And like, um... It sounds crazy, and it kind of was, but, you know, everyone's got to make that at least one purchase. But it worked to his advantage, because he was, he was, you know, a millionaire, a multi-millionaire, driving a million-dollar car. He was racing with billionaires, so it helped him get connections. It was, in a, way, in a lot of ways, it was actually made a lot of sense, a lot of logical sense for him to buy the McLaren. Anyway, after... Started X.com. Uh, they had a competitor. They eventually merged into what we call PayPal now. And um, Elon was pushed out of the CEO position. They thought he was too young. They thought he was too grumpy because he wasn't. He never had any leadership skills as a as a kid. He was always an entrepreneur. He, he made a. He taught himself code as a kid. He sold his own video game, which it's crazy. As a kid, he did all that. And, um, he was always criticized, like, in his earlier years of, like, not being the greatest leader. And, um, he didn't have, the investors didn't want him as a CEO. So there was this other guy who was a CEO, but Elon Musk was still the largest shareholder. I think he had, like, 12%-ish of PayPal. And eventually, PayPal was bought by eBay and Elon Musk's, uh... Cut of the pie, his shares, I think he was a little bit north of $100 million. I don't remember exactly how much, but $100 million. I think it was like 125 ish That's how much he got from the sale of PayPal. And that's ridiculous. After that, he had to move on to something even better. And that's where he founded SpaceX. Initially, the goal was just to do something purely symbolic. He wanted to send the greenhouse to space. To, to Mars, just to, like, prove it could be done, and his hope was that this would um, motivate other people to do the same, just to show, hey, it's possible to get to Mars, now you figure it out. He wanted, but it would have pretty much eaten out of all, all of his funds, and he had no experience in the rocket industry. In fact, there's been no real growth in the rocket industry since, like, the 70s, since, since we went to the moon, pretty much, even, even later than that. So Elon Musk, he partnered up, he found some of the best experts in the world, and uh, it was in California, I think it was, it was in California, he moved to where the best people in the aerospace industry were, he made those connections, um, so SpaceX's mission has always been eventually to colonize Mars pretty much, but instead of, instead of doing the greenhouse thing, he thought of a more practical way to do it. He's like, oh, well, we're going to have to raise more capital to eventually make it to Mars. So, what he did was he uh, tried, pretty much he attempted to make a rocket that could recycle itself. So, in, so most rockets, the fuel cost is negligible. The thing that's most expensive about rockets is the rocket itself. So after the rocket goes up, you can only use it once. 90% of the rocket falls into the ocean or falls out in space. You can never use it again. And that's why it costs millions of dollars to launch a rocket ship. Elon Musk said, I'm going to make a rocket that could land again. And it took him a long time to do that. He had pretty much ate up all his funds. Uh, I think it was three, about, I think three times he failed. Fourth time was the charm. Fourth time it landed. And now, he could he has rockets that are better, bigger, better, and cheaper than any other rocket in the world. So not only does he 
have a contract with America and maybe other countries too. I don't know for sure, but the American government, the United States government, uses him to launch all their rockets whenever they need to send satellites into orbit and such. And um, he's going to raise enough capital for that, and he also has plans to colonize Mars. Don't quote me on the years. I think 2020 is when he's going to send the first one, the first rocket with no human passengers on board, just uh, robots and equipment. 2022 is going to be the first rocket launch to Mars with people on it, and 2024 is going to be another one. And I'm sure he has a plan for even later after that. So, at the same time he was starting SpaceX, uh, these two people were starting a company called Tesla. And their, their goal, pretty much they wanted to make electric cars. And they recruited Elon. They said, hey, we want you to be our, our main uh, um, investor, pretty much. So they pitched the idea to Elon. He said, okay, I'm in. And eventually they had to spar over Elon's founder status on Tesla Motors. And of course, if you hear if you hear the whole story, I would say he definitely deserves founder status. Because he did more than just put his money into it. He had a big influence. If he was not one of the founders, then Tesla Motors wouldn't have been much more than it was. Because the people who came up with Tesla Motors before Elon Musk was part of it, their goal was pretty much just to sell batteries for other people to sell sell uh, electric cars because they were only looking at the money elon musk was looking at the big picture he was looking at i want to change the world i want every car on the road to be an electric car so elon musk's goal was pretty much to make there's been electric cars before there's been great cars before there's never been a great electric car before so that's what he wanted to do so the tesla roadster it was a super luxury car cost hundred somewhat dollars hundred don't quote me, you know, 130 I think, might have been the first Roadster's price, 115 maybe. He made that to prove a point, prove concept, and he wanted competition to come out. He knew that Ford and GM and all these other companies are going to be looking at him and say, you know what, why is he doing this? This is just one guy doing this. We're a giant company, why don't we do this too? So there's other cars, other electric cars coming out, other full autonomous cars coming out. And it's all because of Elon Musk's influence with Tesla. So, and all his patents are open source. You can look up the patent right now. You can make your own uh, fully autonomous car if you want. I think that's what Honda did to get Honda Sensing. They uh, they copied the patent pretty much identical. It's not as good as the, the Tesla, but it's uh, comparable. Anyway, so then, that's um that's why... Eventually, he became the CEO and biggest uh, investor. Tesla Motors is a public stock, though, so you can always buy some stock. I have some Tesla stock myself. Um, and now, Tesla has the Gigafactory, which is a joint venture between Panasonic and Tesla. It's pretty much the goal of that is to make batteries as cheap as possible. These lithium-ion batteries, which are super expensive, um... He wants to essentially cut the price of these batteries in half. Because that's the reason the cars are so expensive. It cost a lot of money, like 20 grand-ish, probably maybe even more for the, for the, just for the battery of these cars. And these batteries are only going to last like 5-10 years until they need to be replaced. Um, if you can cut the price of that in half, you can make your car a lot cheaper. So the Model S, Model, no, the Model 3 is 35 grand is what it starts at, I believe. If you can cut the price of that down to twenty five grand, and that's that's what a regular that's what a lower end car costs around twenty five grand. So to have an awesome car that's fully autonomous and electric, you'd never have to buy fuel again for twenty five grand. That's revolutionary. That's that's where the point where people are never going to use fuel cars again. They're only going to start using, uh, you know, electric cars. Um, that's all the time we have to, for today, though. Just wanted to get some information out there about Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX, founder of, Te or one of the co-founders of Tesla. He had a big influence in Solar City. That's for another video. But really, look up Elon Musk. Who cares about all these stupid celebrities? They're not making the world a better place. Elon Musk is making the world a better place.